Who's on first? I'm first! I'm first! <laughs> Not first! <laughs> Let's call it a tie. <laughs> Sorry, Max. The scream screen always surprises me. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mascot will be there! Hey, it's Longtail Monster. Hi! Hi, Monster Mascot! Longtail Monster has a very long tail. How can we help? Well, Lily, my friends and I are trying to have our Monster Stink Parade. Ooh, 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 I love parades. <laughs> Did you say Monster Stink Parade? Yeah, we're celebrating our special monster stinkiness with a parade. I'm in charge because I stink the most. Uh. Congratulations. Thanks, Goo. But it's just not working out. Whenever we start marching, everyone but me disappears. That is a problem for a parade. Do you think you could help? Sure thing. There's nothing the Monster Mascot can't do. We'll be there in two shakes of a monster's tail. <laughs> Smell you later. We need to figure out why monsters in the Monster Stink Parade keep disappearing. <gasps> I bet we could use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can solve any problem! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! For Monster! Monster! Today's secret monster math word is position. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Position! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on, squad. Let's get that monster stink parade going. <laughs> Monster? Ugh. Oh, smells like a great monster stink parade. Yeah, but we don't get very far. As soon as the parade starts, everyone but me leaves. You can't have a stinky parade unless everyone stays and keeps marching. Why don't you start marching one more time and we'll see what happens. Okay, monsters, let's line up. Squawk Monster. Ah! He's got the worst monster breath in Monstrovia. Oh, terrible! Next, Stinky Armpits Monster. That's me! That's me! Oh. Oh. And finally, Smelly Toes Monster! I've heard his toes smell so bad that the stink can knock out a skunk monster. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a talented, stinky group you've got there, Longtail Monster. Thanks, Lily. Are you ready, Squawk Monster? Time to start the parade! <laughs> See? As soon as we start marching, everyone disappears! <laughs> oh, now I understand what the problem is. Did you see what happened, squad? Right! Longtail Monster's very long tail sent everyone flying! Oh, dear! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that. It's just that I always wag my tail when I'm excited. Ooh. And being in a parade is really, really, really exciting! In fact, I want to wag it right now! No! Stop, 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 stop! Oh, hmm. Every time Longtail Monster wags his tail, he knocks everyone out of the parade. We must be able to use math to solve this problem, but how? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, position. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, position! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. Lineup of monsters hungry to eat. Wait patiently for a monster treat. Who's in first position? 
Will that monster do a stunt? <laughs> there he is, the monster in front. Who's in second position? Will that monster give a sign? There he is, the next monster in line. Who's in third position? Will that monster give a scare? <laughs> there he is, behind the second monster, there. Who's in last position? Will that monster wave hello? There he is, at the end of the row. The last monster wants to put something in his tummy. No treats left, but the picture looks just as yummy. <laughs> Thanks, Math Monitor! Now we know all about positions. Maybe the Math Monitor is telling us that the position of the monsters in the parade is causing the problem. <gasps> Maybe we need to change their positions to fix it. Come on, squad! Let's, Let's do, do Monster Math! Everyone's behind you, Longtail Monster, so you must be in the first position. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. First position is definitely not the best place for Longtail Monster. So we have to look for the second best position. That's it. What's it? Longtail Monster should be in second position. Which one is the second position? Help us count all the positions, squad. First, First second, second, third, fourth. So this is second position. Squawk Monster, you need to change places with Longtail Monster so he can be in second position, and you'll be the leader of the parade in first position. Go for it, monsters. Change places, please. <laughs> Great. Let's get this parade moving. Ready, Squawk Monster? Oh! That super stinks. Whoa! Stop. Squawk Monster, stop. Everything was going so beautifully and stinkily. You still kind of wiped out the monsters behind you. Oh, sorry. Well, it looks like Longtail Monster can't be first or second. As long as someone's behind Longtail Monster, he'll keep knocking them over with his tail. Only Squawk Monster was safe, and that was because he's not behind Longtail Monster. He's in front of him. He's in first position. Hey, maybe if everyone's in first position, then no one will be behind and there won't be any trouble. Good idea, Goo. Okay, everyone, line up side by side. You're all first. Great. Ready, Squawk Monster? <laughs> Monsters! Stop! <laughs> Thank you. I think I see the problem, squad. With everyone first, no one is leading, and they don't know where to go. And we still haven't figured out what position Longtail Monster should be in. Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, position, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three. Position! Look, a monster math monitor. A line of monsters dancing to the beat. A line of monsters prancing on their feet. First one stops in front of the bunch. The ones behind them keep going. <gasps> Crunch! Last one stops at the end of the line. There's no one to bump into him, so he feels fine. Math Monitor! <laughs> when you're first, everyone is behind you. And when you're last, no one is behind you. So, Longtail Monster has to move to last position. That way, his tail won't bump anyone. Right! Longtail Monster, with no one behind you, you can wag your tail all you want. <gasps> That's perfect! No one's getting knocked down when you're last. We, we did the math! We did the, the monster math! <laughs> now we just have to get the rest of the parade in position. Who wants to go first? Squawk Monster? Great! He doesn't have a long tail, so he won't cause any harm. Who wants to be second? <laughs> oh, sure! Anything you want, just put your arms down! Please! 
Oh, so that leaves Smelly Toes Monster. You can hop into third position. And last, but no less stinky, is Longtail Monster. <laughs> Yay! All righty, Squawk Monster, let her rip. Oh, did you have to say that? <laughs> Way to go, Monster Math Squad! We helped Longtail Monster find the best place to be in the Monster Stink Parade. And we did it by knowing all about positions. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <gasps> we, we did the math! math. We, we did the math! A muffin mystery. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're going to the Monstrovia Town Picnic. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Goo. You look like a two. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't look like a two. I just look like Goo. <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Miss Merkley at her monster muffin shop. We ordered monster muffins for our picnic. Hello, Miss Merkley. Are you calling to say our muffin order is ready? No, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I'm closing my shop and not baking any more monster muffins ever again. <laughs> no no more, more monster, monster muffins. muffins? What? Why? Baking monster muffins is what you do best, Miss Merkley. Not anymore. Not after what happened this morning. <laughs> Poor Miss Merkley. What could have happened to make her close her muffin shop? It's a mystery. A mystery we need to solve. Can Monster Math help us do that? Sure, Goo. Monster Math can solve any problem. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome. First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ha! Ah, ah, word Monster! monster. Today's secret monster math word is half. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Half. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I always forget. Come on, Monster Math Squad, to Miss Merkley's muffin shop. <laughs> Squad, I'm so glad you're here. This muffin is the reason I'm closing my shop. That yummy looking muffin caused all this trouble? What happened? Well, a new customer ordered it this morning, so I made it. The customer came and got it, and then brought it back saying it was wrong. Oh, wrong. That muffin looks perfect. It's my best muffin recipe. Heavenly half, half slime, half grime. Why would anyone send back a heavenly half muffin? <laughs> Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, half. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, half. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. This little monster likes to color half a picture in. The other half, he never does. That's how he's always been. If he colored everything, it wouldn't be just half. It would be the whole of it. And then he wouldn't laugh. So this little monster only colors half a picture in. The other half, he never does. That's how he's always been. <laughs> what a funny little monster to only want to color half a picture. I bet that means half has something to do with the mystery of why the muffin for the picnic was returned. The picnic! 
If Miss Merkley doesn't start baking our muffins for the picnic, they won't be ready in time. I can tell you the slimy grimy recipe, but you'll have to make them yourself. I'm not good at making muffins anymore. Remember? Don't worry, Miss Merkley. We can do it. We've got helpers, right? First, we need half a beaker of dust. We know all about half. That's math. Come on, squad. Let's, Let's do, do monster math. math. Oh! I'll get half a beaker of dust. Good. That's half a beaker exactly. Dump it in the bowl, please. <laughs> Oops. Looks like we'll need another half beaker of dust. Hmm. Does that look like half a beaker? No, I don't think so either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. There. Half a beaker of dust. Next, half a beaker of swamp muck. Gross! Monsters love gross! And last, you need half a beaker of dragon slobber. Yum! I'll do it! <laughs> okay, that's half. That's it! Now mix it up, please. Okay, into Oven Monster it goes. My best muffin recipe, Heavenly Half, exactly like the muffin the customer returned. Who was this mysterious new customer? Her name is Mrs. Half Monster. I think we should go ask her why she didn't like your muffin. Can we take it with us? Oh, yes, I'd really like to know, Lily. Her address is Half House, which is halfway to the park. Let's go, squad! Interesting. A customer named Mrs. Half Monster, who lives in Half House, which is half of a house that's halfway to the park, ordered a muffin called Heavenly Half. That's a lot of halves! Hello, I'm Mrs. Half Monster, and I'm getting ready for the picnic. Hi, we're the Monster Math Squad, and we're going to the picnic too. But first, we wanted to ask you... If you can help me? Yes, you can. I'm in a terrible rush. I ordered a special muffin for the picnic, but it was wrong. Oh, wrong. So I have to run out and buy something else. Um, about that muffin? Please take these baskets to the park and put half of them by the bench and half of them by the swing. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, how do we figure out how many are half of the baskets? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, half, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, half! A monster math monitor! This little monster wants his pictures hanging on his wall. He's going to put picture frames on half of them, not all. To figure out which half, he's got a little game. He lays them all out on the floor and makes two rows the same. When each row has the same in it, two halves is what he's got. The top half gets some picture frames, the bottom half does not. That's a math-tastic trick to find out how much half of something is. Make two rows that are the same. Let's do that with the baskets. Come on! Let's, Let's do, do monster math! math. So, we need to put half of the picnic baskets here by the bench and half of them by the swing, right? Right! Uh, but how? The math monitor showed us that to find half, we should start by making two rows with the same number of baskets in each row. I'll start the top row here. I'll start the bottom row here. <laughs> Toss me a basket, please, Max. <laughs> Let's check if both rows are the same so far. I've got two baskets in my row. And I've got two baskets in my row. Great! Yeah, here, the last two baskets. One for you, Lily, and one for you, Goo. Let's check to see if our rows are still the same. My row has one, two, three picnic baskets. And my row has one, 
two, three also. They're the same. So each row has half of the baskets in it. Monster math amazing! Now, Mrs. Half Monster wants half of them here by the bench and half of them over there by the swings, right? Right! Half here. And half here. Oh, good job with the picnic baskets. But I'm afraid I couldn't find anything to replace that muffin I bought that was wrong. Um, Mrs. Half Monster, what exactly is wrong with this muffin anyway? I ordered a muffin from Miss Merkley called Heavenly Half, thinking I would get half a muffin. And that is a whole muffin. I like things in halves, as you may have noticed. Hmm. I think I know a way to solve this. To Miss Merkley's, everyone! <laughs> Miss Merkley, could you please cut this muffin down the middle? All right. There. I don't believe it. It's perfect. One half and another half. Two halves. You've made the best muffin ever, Miss Merkley. I have? That means I'm still good at making muffins. I'll keep my shop open. Yay! But there's still a problem. There is. I can't decide which half to take. Well, why not take both, Mrs. Half Monster? Huh, that's not a half bad idea, Miss Merkley. See you all at the picnic. Good work, Monster Math Squad. We solved the mystery about why the muffin was returned. And we did it by knowing what half is. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. We, we did, did the map! We, we did, did the, the monster map! <laughs> monster Factory Fiasco! <laughs> Good jumping, Goo! Oh, see how many you can do! Can you count, Max? Sure! One, two, uh, three. Whoa, 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 I can't count that fast! Can you slow down, please? <laughs> <laughs> Is this slow enough? <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the monster mask one will be there! Hey, it's Maker Monster. She makes all kinds of stuff in her monster factory. Hi, Hi Maker, Maker Monster. Monster. What are you making today? I'm glad you asked me that, Goo. Today, I'm making some monster dolls for a very big order. What? It's a little Mr. Cranky Pants doll. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, those are very cranky dolls. Yes, and the customer wants a lot of them for some reason. I need your help to get them all packed in boxes before he comes to pick them up. Don't worry, Maker Monster. We can help. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. We need to help Maker Monster pack some cranky dolls. I'm sure we can use some Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Monster! Monster! Wow! Today there are two secret monster math words. Skip count! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math words with us to make something math amazing happen! Skip count! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Lily. They're such cool words, I couldn't help myself. Come on, Monster Math Squad! Let's go pack some cranky dolls! <laughs> Monster? Mo 
Monster Math Squad! Just in time. I've made all the dolls and I'm about to start packing them up. These little Mr. Cranky Pants Monster dolls look exactly like Big Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Ow! That doll just kicked my toe! <laughs> Careful there. The dolls are a wee bit, um... Cranky! <laughs> Who would want a doll like that? Get ready to pack, squad. When I start the machine, the dolls will start to come out. You need to put 10 dolls in each box. 10 dolls in each box. Well, that should be easy enough. The important thing is to fill up the boxes before they move along. Otherwise, we'll never get this order delivered in time. Come on, squad! Let's count the dolls! One doll... Two... Three... Hurry! The box is moving away! Uh, four... We have to count faster! Five... Five. Oh. Oh. Ow! The doll kicked my toe again! Oh no! The box is moving along and we only put four dolls in it! We can't count fast enough! Let's try again! Here comes the next box! Keep counting dolls with us, squad! One doll! Two! Three! Faster! The box is moving away! Four! Whoa! Oh! That is a very cranky doll! What are we going to do? We can't count to ten fast enough to fill those boxes! Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math words Skip count! Are you ready? Let's shout them together on three. One, two, three... Skip count! Look! It worked! A monster math monitor! Kitten Monster Mom needs to count ten mittens on her kittens. Do they have the right amount? Her little kittens love to play peekaboo. She needs to count their mittens quickly, so what should she do? She skip counts numbers two by two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. She skip counts ten mittens before her kittens hide again. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Now we know how to skip count. Yeah! Instead of counting every single number, you skip numbers and count by twos. Cool! I bet we need to know how to skip count to help us pack up these cranky dolls. And since skip counting is all about math, let's, let's do monster math! math. Here comes another box. So, uh, uh, what do we do? I have a plan. We'll each grab two dolls at a time and put them in the box while we skip count by twos. That should make packing the dolls much faster. I've got the first two. So that's, uh, uh, two dolls. Huh? Here are the next two. So if I skip count, that makes, um, what's the next number? Hurry, the box is moving away again. Here's two more dolls. How many do we have now? Uh, we have to skip count by twos, so that makes two, uh, uh, three. No, 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 wait, I, I think it's four. Uh, or was it five? Uh, here's some more. Oh, oh, that was not the right number of dolls. Oh, what are we gonna do? Skip counting is kind of tricky. Yeah, I don't remember what numbers you skip. <laughs> I know someone who can help us. <laughs> Monster Math Monitor! The kitten's mittens can help us remember how to skip count. Okay, everyone, grab two dolls and get ready for some serious skip counting. And you get ready too, squad. Here comes the box. And here go the dolls. Two. And two more makes how many? Skip number one and go to two. Skip number three and go to four. Quick, let's do some more. Help us skip count, squad. We're at four. Skip one more. So we have to skip number five to get to six. Hurry, Max. There goes the box again. No, oh, we have to skip count even faster. Here's two more. Uh, uh, what's after six? What number do we skip? 
Uh, I don't know. Hey! It didn't kick my toe. Ow! It kicked my toe. Okay, squad. I know we can do this. We just have to get into a skip counting groove. Let's practice on the number line. Skip one, start at two. Skip one more, you're at four. Skip five, that makes six. Skip seven, we're at eight. Neat trick. Skip nine, and that makes ten. Now let's do it all again. Two, four, six, eight, ten. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten. I think we're ready, Lily. How about you? Ready to skip count with us? <laughs> Positions, everyone. Ready. And skip count. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, we did it. Let's keep filling up these boxes, squad. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Great job, squad. Uh-oh, here comes another box. <laughs> skip counting is cool. Keep skip counting with us, squad. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, and the dolls are ready to go. Whew, just in time. The customers arrived to pick them up. Great work, Monster Map Squad. We packed all the dolls and we did it by knowing how to skip count. That deserves a great big monster howl on six. Uh, on six? Isn't it usually on three? <laughs> Not if we skip count. Oh, <laughs> right. Two, four, six. <laughs> We, we did, did the, the math! We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> Say, who in Monstrovia would want all these cranky dolls? They're all from me! <laughs> but why would you want so many cranky dolls? They put me in an extremely cranky mood. And I love being cranky! <laughs> <laughs> These dolls make me cranky, too. <laughs> the Scoop Troop. Hey, look! We got an invitation to Persnickety Eater Monster's birthday party. <laughs> really, Lily? All three of us? Yes, Goo. You and Max and me make three. Yeah, party! Yeah, party. <laughs> uh, are we still going to a party? <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mascot will be there! It's Picky Eater Monster! Hi, Picky Eater Monster! Hi, Monster Math Squad! Thanks for inviting us to your brother's party! I'm sorry to say I'm going to have to uninvite you! Why? My brother, Persnickety Eater Monster, is very persnickety, you know! We know! Everything has to be just right for him, and that includes the loot bags for his birthday party! I don't have time to make them the way he wants them! We can help you get them made! The Monster Mask Squad is on the way! Please hurry! We need to help Picky Eater Monster make the loot bags for his brother's birthday party. I'm sure Monster Math can help us do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! 
You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word monster! monster! Today's secret monster math word is... Capacity. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Capacity. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Picky Eater Monster make those loot bags. <laughs> Monster Math Squad. Now, each of these bins contains the most delicious monster treats ever. Booger berries, fester flakes, wonder warts, and scab squares. And some of each treat goes into each loot bag? Not just some, Lily. A very precise amount. Let me show you. We start with an empty loot bag. And we put in one small scoop of booger berries. One, two small scoops of fester flakes. One, two, three small scoops of wonder warts. And one, two, three, four small scoops of scab squares. That's a lot of scooping to make each bag. That's why I need your help. I don't have time to make them all by myself. But if we all work together, we'll get the loot bags done in no time. Monsters, grab your scoops. Okay, everyone, get scooping. One. 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 Two. One. 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 Two. Two. Three. One. 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 Two. Two. One. Two. One. Four. Two. One, two, one, two, three, 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 four. Oh, I can't keep up. Stop! Oh, can't we just put one scoop of each treat in the loot bags? It would be so much easier. But it's not the way my brother wants them. Then how are we going to get the loot bags made in time for the party? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, capacity. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Capacity! Look, it worked. A monster math monitor. Here's a monster feeding his pet. It's going to take him a while, I bet. His shovel's kind of small. It doesn't hold a lot. It has a small capacity. That's what this shovel's got. <laughs> this shovel is much bigger. It can hold a lot. It has a big capacity. That's what this shovel's got. Just one big scoop is all it takes to feed the pet. Hooray! Uh-oh, he's gonna burp and blow the monster away. means how much something holds. <laughs> right, Goo. If a container is small, it has a small capacity. And if a container is bigger, it has a bigger capacity. And since capacity is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Ow! Max, remember when you said it would be easier if we could each put in just one scoop? Yeah. Now that we know about capacity, I think we can do that. How? We just need to use different size scoops. Picky Eater Monster, do you have any more scoops? abso picky paws I do. Right here in my scoop cupboard. Ta-da! Here's a yellow scoop. It's bigger than the small green one. Let's see what its capacity is. One. Two scoops of Fester Flakes. The yellow scoop's capacity is two green scoops. That's exactly the amount I need. Now I can scoop with just one scoop. Hey, this blue scoop might have the right capacity for wonder warts. Oh, I wonder which of these will hold four scoops of scab squares. They're both big, but one's bigger than the other. I'll take both to try. 
Will you count with me to see if three green scoops of Wonder Warts fit in this blue scoop? <laughs> Great! <laughs> One, two, three! Yay! Now I can scoop with just one scoop, too. I wonder if four scoops of scab squares fit in this purple scoop. One, two, three, four. <gasps> Perfect, Max. The purple scoop has the capacity of four green scoops. All right. <laughs> then I guess I don't need this other one. Whoops. Wonderful. Now each of us has a scoop with the right capacity for our treats. Let's load these loot bags, squad. Whoa! I, I dropped mine. Hang on. Okay. Ready? Everyone, get scooping. Whoa! Uh, stop, everybody! Look! My scoop of scab squares doesn't fit in the loot bags. The scab squares overflowed. Oh no, what went wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word capacity together again on three. Ready? One, two, three. Capacity! Cool, a monster math monitor. A small bucket of dragon drill with a small capacity. A medium bucket of dragon drill with a medium capacity. A large bucket of dragon drill with a large capacity. This monster needs more dragon drill to fill his little waiting pool. A small bucket of dragon drill with a small capacity. A large bucket of dragon drill with a large capacity. Oops, too much dragon drill for the pool. A small bucket of dragon drill with a small capacity. A medium bucket of dragon drill with a medium capacity. Hooray! The right capacity for the pool. <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor! Now we know that things like buckets have different capacities too. When the Monster Math Monitor used the bucket with a wrong capacity, the pool overflowed. Just like the loot bag overflowed when Max put in his big scoop of scab squares. Maybe Max's big scoop has the wrong capacity. But I checked, and I know that four little green scoops of scab squares fit in this scoop. Hey, I thought your scoop was purple, Max. It... You're right, Goo. It was purple. Maybe it changed color. Let me see. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh, the purple scoop! When you dropped your scoop before, you must have picked up the wrong one by mistake. Oh, yeah. Max, you were using the wrong scoop to fill the loot bags. Right. To your bins, everyone. Get scooping! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday, Persnickety-Eater Monster! <gasps> the loot bags for my party! <coughs> Why, these loot bags are positively perfect! Phew! We got the loot bags made just right! The guests are here! And just in time! And we did it by knowing all about capacity! That deserves a great big monster howl on three! One, two, three. Hello! Oh! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster math! math. <laughs> monster treat trouble. Look, Max, I knitted you a hat. Oh, that's so nice of you, Goo. It has a yellow and orange striped pattern, just like your horn. <laughs> cool. Let's see if it fits. <laughs> <laughs> It fits. 
<laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mask squad will be there! <laughs> it's Freezy Treat Monster! I love the frozen goop cones he sells! Unfortunately, there are no f -f frozen goop cones today, Goo. What? My f freezy treat machine that makes my f frozen goop cones is not working. Oh, no! I won't be able to make f frozen goop cones for my customers. Oh, dear f freezy me. Do you think you can help me make some cones? Of course we can help you. The Monster Map Squad is on the way. Hmm. <laughs> We need to help Freezy Treat Monster make frozen goop cones. Ha! I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Monster! Monster! Today, there are two secret monster math words. Repeating pattern. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math words with us to make something math amazing happen. Repeating pattern. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Freezy Treat Monster make frozen goop cones. <laughs> Hi, Freezy Treat Monster! What seems to be the problem with your Freezy Treat Machine? Well... What's this big green button for? No, Goo, don't press the... big green button. <laughs> That's the problem with the machine. It shouldn't be doing that. It should be filling these cones with frozen goop. Huh. Well, it looks like this arm part thingamabobber is loose. A loose thingamabobber? Well, let me try and fix it. Whoa! <laughs> Missed me! Got me! <laughs> oh, dear. Customers are coming. There's no time to fix the freezy treat machine. Maybe we could fill the cones with goop ourselves. Ooh, filling goop cones should be easy freezy. Come on, squad. Let's fill some cones. One. Two. We need three scoops, just like in the picture. Here you go, little monsters. Three yummy frozen goop cones. Uh -uh. Why don't they want them? Little monsters always want frozen goop cones. Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math words repeating pattern. Are you ready? Let's shout them together on three. One, two, three. Repeating pattern. Look, it worked. A monster math monitor. This monster is feeling out of sorts because her skateboard doesn't match her shorts. Her shorts have a pattern that repeats. So which board will make her outfit complete? Her shorts have a red stripe, blue stripe, red, and then red stripe, blue stripe, and red again. That's the pattern that repeats. Which board will make her outfit complete? Red, blue, red. Red, blue, red. The same pattern that repeats. Sweet. Now it's time to hit the street. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Now we know about repeating patterns. Yeah, the colored stripes on the math monitor made a pattern. Red, blue, red. And it kept repeating over again. Do you think we need to know about repeating patterns to help us figure out how to make the goop cones properly? <laughs> yeah, I do too. And since math is all about repeating patterns, let's, let's do, do the monster math! math! Oh! Okay, let's 
stink. What's wrong with the cones we made? Do these cones have a repeating pattern? This one has one goop of green, then yellow, then green. Oh, and this one does too. And so does this one. Yes, a repeating pattern. What are you guys pointing at? I think they're pointing at the picture of the goop cones on the sign. That's what the goop cones are supposed to look like. Do our goop cones match the ones on the sign? Help us check, squad. The first cone on the sign has a pattern of goop scoops. Yellow, green, yellow. Yeah, and the pattern is repeated on the other cones. Yellow, green, yellow, yellow, green, yellow. Our cones have goop scoops of green, yellow, and green. Is our repeating pattern the same as the repeating pattern on the picture? Nope, it's different. That must be why the little monsters don't want the goop cones. Aha! I'll fix that. Back in the bin goes this goop. And I'll just scoop some more. Yellow, green, yellow. Yellow, green, yellow. And yellow, green, yellow. Yay! Yay! There you go, little monsters. Aww. We still don't want them. But we matched the repeating pattern, just like on the picture. What is wrong with the cones now? I see what's wrong. Something's different. Do you see what's different, Squad? The goop cones we made don't have decorations on them. I forgot. Blue and orange booger bits. My poor broken machine usually puts them on. We can put the booger bits on. Come on, squad. Let's decorate those goop cones. Yay! Here you go, little monsters. We even did a repeating pattern with the colors on this cone. Blue booger bits, then orange booger bits, then blue again. And blue, orange, blue on this cone. And on this cone, too. A repeating pattern. Oh. But they still don't like the goop cones. Why not? Ah, ah. Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math words, repeating pattern, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, repeating pattern! Look, a monster math monitor! This monster wants to dance in a vest that matches his favorite pants. The monster's pants have a pattern that repeats. Which vest will make his outfit complete? Moon shape, star shape, and moon. That's the repeating pattern on his pantaloons. Which vest has the same pattern? In which one should he dance? Yes! Time to prance in your fancy pants. <laughs> Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know even more about repeating patterns. Yeah, repeating patterns don't just have colors. They can also have shapes. I wonder if the goop cones need a repeating pattern of booger bit colors and of shapes. Let's see. The cones we made have these booger bits on them. And we match the color pattern. Blue, orange, blue. But look, the booger bits are also different shapes. Oh, I didn't see that before. The cones on the sign have booger bits with a repeating pattern of circle, star, circle. Did we match the repeating pattern of shapes? The pattern we need is circle, star, circle. And the pattern we have is star, circle, star. Nope, not a match. Come on, squad, let's match that pattern. Blue circle, orange star, blue circle. There. A perfect repeating pattern. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we definitely got the right repeating pattern. Hey, look! Goo fixed the freezy treat machine. 
frozen goop cones for everyone! Yay! Oh, frozen <laughs> goop cones! <laughs> <laughs> Monster math terrific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped Freezy Treat Monster get goop cones to everyone. And we did it by knowing all about repeating patterns. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the math! math.